Welcome back to my channel, Math and Language. This is James, your Math and Language instructor. For today, we're going to discuss how to find the absolute value elementary algebra basic approach. So in this video, we have two lessons starting with the introduction and the second one will be the basic equations. So let's start. For lesson one, introduction. So ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng absolute value? Ang ibig sabihin nito, gaano ba kalayong isang number sa zero? For example, may negative 5 ka. So, gaano kalayo yung negative 5 sa 0? Check natin. Negative 5 papuntang negative 4, it will take you one step. So, negative, 4, negative 5 to negative 3, so 2 na yun. Negative 5 to negative 2, at na. Negative 5 to negative 1 is 4. At yung negative 5 to 0, it will take you 5 steps. So, ang sagot sa dun, Sagot sa absolute value ng negative 5 ay 5. So, paano ba natin pinapakita ang isang absolute value ng number? So, for example, you have negative 5. Alagyan mo siya ng dalawang vertical bars sa paligid niya. Aining, ang ibig sabihin na nito ay kukunin natin yung absolute value ng negative 5. So, ang sagot ay 5. Same with the second example. Paano naman kung gusto mong kunin yung absolute value ng 7? So, lagi man ng dalawang vertical bar, yung paligid ng 7, uh, sa magiging sagot niyan ay 7. May times na nilalagay natin ay ABS or ABS dun sa number. Kaso, mas madalas kasi vertical bar yung ginagamit natin. So, paano naman kung basic equation na? Katulad nito, absolute value ng 3 minus 7. So, para makakuha natin yung absolute value niyan, isa simplify mo muna na sa loob ng absolute value. So, ang sagot ay negative 4. Ngayon, dahil isang number na lang siya, pwede mo na siyang gawing, pwede mo na siyang masagutan, which is the absolute value of negative 4 ay 4. Next example tayo. Paano naman kung find the absolute value ng negative 7 times mo ng 3? So, as usual, sagutan mo muna na sa loob. So, that will be negative 21. So, pwede mo nang kunin yung absolute value nun. So, magiging sagot mo ay 21. Next example tayo, paano naman kung negative tapos yung absolute value ng negative 2 minus 5? So, pag ganyan, as usual, simplify mo na natin yung nasa loob. Negative 2 minus 5, that will be negative 7. Tapos, napin natin yung absolute value ng negative 7, which is 7. Tapos, dun mo lang ipapasok yung negative. Kaya, ang sagot natin ay negative 7. So, last example tayo. Paano naman kung negative tapos the absolute value of negative 4 times mo ng 5? Para gawin yan, simplify mo muna sa loob. Yung negative 4, mumultiply natin sa 5, that will be negative 20. Pag nakuha na natin yung negative 20, na simplify na natin, kunin natin yung absolute value ng negative 20, which is 20. Tapos, dun mo lang ipapasok yung negative. Kasi nasa labas yung negative sign, ba? So, that will be negative 20 yung sagot. At ganun lang kadali malaman ng absolute value. Next video naman ay sasamaan na natin ng variable at graphing. So kung may comment kayo or suggestion for another math and language video, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.